the Sola Scriptura Liturgical Prayer Book, Week 2, Sunday Evening, Invitation to Prayer, Psalm 30, verse 4, and 32, verse 11. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Call upon the Lord, Psalm 42, verses 1 and 2a. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3b. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The readings, our Lord's family. Mark chapter 10, verses 29 and 30. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake and the gospel's, but he shall receive an hundredfold, now in this time, houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. Mark chapter 3, verses 31 to 35. Then came his brethren and his mother, and, standing without, sent unto him, calling him. And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked round about on them which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. The second reading, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 to 20. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth for ever. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. The third reading, Luke chapter 12, verse 20. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Psalm 73. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain, violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doth God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain. I have washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God. Then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction." How are they brought into desolation, as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors? 
as a dream when one awakeneth, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand, thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in the heavens but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart, and my portion for ever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a-whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all thy works. The last reading, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. At my first answer no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Psalm 94 O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He that chastiseth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, Thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Let us pray. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9b through 13. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Psalm 31, verse 5. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Pause now and give thanks and pray for your personal intentions. Consider praying for the grace to discern God's will, and to do it. A plea for mercy. Luke chapter 18, verse 13b. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Psalm 3, verse 8. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 11, verse 33. O oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments! and his ways past finding out. Philippians chapter 4 verse 20 
now and to God and our Father, be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20c. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.